Out of one more. Corot to try to set up that inside move at turn nine. Could not do it, but here, here he is in turn ten. Corota looked to the inside, but Blaney holds him off. White flag in the air. One to go in Canada. I think that was practice right there. We and that not... white flag is big for Blaney because now he knows no green-white checker. They're playing a different strategy. But you remember Ty Dillon a year ago, his truck started to sputter a bit on the last lap, and that enabled Chase Elliott to get to the inside of him. Been 33 laps since that 29 truck was on pit road. Remember, we've had a number of caution laps. They feel confident they can get to the end here, but can they hold on? Look at these two slipping and sliding sideways, desperately racing toward the checkered flag. Blaney clean down through turn four and up to the hairpin at turn five. Caroga closes in, but Blaney has been so strong off the corner. He gets a nice pull here, and one final time, they head down the long back straightaway. But watch this 77 of Caroga. He's been really fast on this long back straightaway, using the draft to try to pull alongside Blaney. He's right there, Phil. Boy, this is deja vu of a year ago. Get Ryan Blaney goes this side to the outside. Caroga to the outside as they head to turn eight. Blaney trying to hold him off. Caroga going to have the inside preferred line as they go to turn nine. Herman Caroga takes the top spot. Blaney tries the crossover. Here they are at turn ten. Herman Caroga trying to pull him to the start finish line as they come to the line. Checkered flag. Ryan Blaney by a nose. Unbelievable. You're talking about pull under fire. You lose the lead, you get it back, and for the third time in his career, Ryan Blaney gets the checkered flag. And he's 20 years old. 20 years old and was having the presence of mind to make that move there. He didn't fight back, he didn't beat on the 77, he let him have the lead, he switched over, got position to get underneath him off return to and beat him to the line. You know, you make all those plans, but to be cool enough to sit there behind the wheel of that truck and pull it off without freaking out, can you imagine what that young man just accomplished? What a great pass. It all worked out for him, Herbie. The chance you had the right strategy, the right driver, the right teammates as well. Chad, congratulations. How about that last lap by your driver? I'm speechless, man. I, you know what? My hat's off to Herman. Um, you know, a lot of people in this series have had run-ins with him. We've had run-ins with him. And, and he drove us as clean as he could, and Ryan drove him back clean as he could. So hats off to Herman, and I really appreciate that from him. You know, Ryan's a next-level driver, and uh, this team's fortunate enough to work with him. We've had our mishaps the last couple weeks, but we're going to get back on track, get back in the championship hunt. And this is where we should be as Victory Lane as an organization. So I'm just proud. Two weeks in a row for BKR, and next week, next race, we're going to make it three. That's Chad Kendrick, BKR, and Ryan Blaney going to Victory Lane. You know, I think it all started, Adam, when Blaney didn't crowd Caroga down into eight. He gave him room out there, so Caroga just took that room. But I think Blaney had the plan the whole time. Okay, you've got me, buddy. But there's one more turn, and I'm going to set myself up to drop off that corner the best I have all day long. And watch this move. And never, never touched him. Never touched him. Wow. Everything we hoped it would be. How about the late race drama for Ryan Blaney? Last week, getting it done in the Nationwide Series in Bristol. Today, final corner, final lap pass. Gets him the checkered flag at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. Fifteen minutes could save you fifteen percent or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that, Parker.